Okay, so what I've got here is my uh, SharePoint team site. What I'm going to do is go in and select uh, the calendar. Um, so this will bring up uh, the calendar area in uh, SharePoint. Uh, we can now link this to Outlook, but what we need to do is go up to the top here and click on the calendar tab at the top, and then that will expose the ribbon menu. In the ribbon menu, towards the middle here, we have this option called Connect to Outlook. So what we need to do is simply click on that. Um, we'll then be prompted as to whether we want to connect this uh, calendar from SharePoint to Outlook. Uh, we allow that. We'll then normally get a warning that it wants to also come through our local firewall, so we're happy to allow that as well. And finally we get another warning that we want to connect this to Outlook. You'll notice that we have the option here for some advanced options. We can give it obviously a different name if we want. We put in a description. Um, again, we can make a lot of changes there. So when we're right, we just go yes. And now you'll see that we have our team site calendar added on the right hand side compared to our normal personal calendar here on the left. So again, if we change this to a uh, monthly view, um, immediately you'll see that we have our two calendars listed here. Now if I go to the top um, of the team site calendar, you'll notice there is a, a small arrow. I can actually go and overlay that, so that will overlay one calendar over the other and show me any appointments between the two. Over here on the left, you'll see that I can, if I want to now, um, enable and disable this calendar, so I can simply click the option here to display that calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my SharePoint and what I'm going to do here is I'll add an appointment um, in the SharePoint calendar and then what we'll see that happen is that that will then flow through um, to the uh, local Outlook calendar that we have connected. So if we look here we now have a um, an event here on the 14th so if we now go to our Outlook calendar, you'll notice that there currently uh, isn't anything showing up. So what we'll need to do, uh, if we want to force that, basically is to do a, uh, a send and receive. So if we go and do a send and receive, so it's immediately that we do the send and receive, we now see that the appointment has shown up in our Outlook calendar. So if I now go into this here, so I'll open this appointment. Uh, what I'll do here is I will add a comment to show you this is uh, added from Outlook. So if I add the option here to add the comment from uh, Outlook, um, and if we go in and just have a look at that appointment again, you'll notice that down the bottom here it shows you that it's in a shared folder, the team site calendar, and it gives us a hyperlink to that location. So that indicates to us that it is a SharePoint calendar. So what I'll do now is, if I do a send and receive again, um, that will then send the changes that I've made back up to SharePoint. If I now go into my SharePoint list and click on that item, we should see that the comments that, we are, that we've made now appear in uh, SharePoint items. So again, what we're getting here is synchronization between our uh, calendar in Outlook and also our calendar in SharePoint. Now what I can do is if I open this up, double click on it again, um, you'll see that I have the option here to copy to my calendar. So if I click that, you'll now notice that in my personal calendar that item now appears. Now it's important to note that this is simply a copy of what we have from our SharePoint. So if I go in here for example um, and put in here uh, that it's from the personal calendar and I save that and then if I go and do a send and receive again okay and if we go back into our sh SharePoint calendar you'll see that no comments have been added so basically we're not getting any synchronization across from this calendar to this calendar um, from our left to our right because basically this we have just simply taken a copy so the calendar which is our SharePoint calendar is the one that is actually linked and if we make any changes here that will then flow through to our SharePoint site automatically. If we copy it from our SharePoint calendar to our personal calendar, um, we don't get any synchronization from this item here on the left hand side. So if we go back to our mail items here um, and we go down to view all the folders, so this will show our folder list. If we scroll right down the bottom, you'll notice that there's an item here called SharePoint list. So if we expand that, you'll see that in here we now have an item called 
uh, team site calendar which is basically our SharePoint calendar so again if I click that you'll see that I'm taken straight to that SharePoint calendar and there is our item so again that's another way that we can get to it now if we wish to get rid of that so we no longer want that link we can right mouse click on it and select the option here to delete the calendar and you'll notice when we do that um, it's prompting us to say that we're going to delete the team site calendar folder um, but you'll also note here that any changes you make since the last sender receive will be lost and the contents of the SharePoint list will remain on the server so simply deleting this here from our Outlook means that we are effectively deleting the linkage between Outlook and SharePoint so now if we delete that we go into our calendar you'll see that we've only got our personal calendar again but to link it again all we need to do is go to our calendar in SharePoint click on the calendar tab at the top click on the option here to connect to Outlook okay so we uh, accept all the security prompts and allow that again and allow that once more and there you'll see that our calendar um, from SharePoint is now displayed so connecting up a calendar with Outlook is really very very simple hope that you've got a lot out of this video thank you very much for watching